Labour. Sort yourselves out. Universal credit. Why are you not going with stop and scrap it? Another year sitting around tables, ticking boxes. And in that year, how many do you think will die? How many people do you know that will die? Because I know some people we know will die. Deepak have been telling you, Black Triangle, loads of other activists, Charlotte Hughes, have been telling you for a long time what Universal Credit does and still you're not scrapping it. Margaret Greenwood, wet fish. That speech was the most uninspiring speech I've ever probably seen in my life. She she is just not the person to be in that job. Debbie Abrahams was a person, but you got rid of her because she was coming around to our way of thinking. And let me tell you now, uh, Labour, Deepak are not affiliated to any political party. So when we block roads and when we close things, that would include you as well. And now I think you've crossed the line because I think there's a lot of anger out there. Universal credit. It's going to affect in-work people as well. On housing benefit, child tax credits, anything like that, they're going to be affected. If they're working 16 hours, they're going to be told to work 32 hours. And guess what? When they work over 32 hours, they don't get any benefit. Get some off. That is the idea. Universal credit, the idea is to get everyone off benefits. Be it by death, starvation, mental health issues, anything. They just they don't care what out what work you do. Zero hours, the gig economy, totally wrong, a absolutely. If someone had told me when I first went into working life that you would get a job where you would only might only get four hours a week or even one hour a week, which the Tories include in their employment figures, one hour a week, and this is how the Tories do things: smoke and mirrors. Labour, get on board with us. Come and join us. There are thirty million disabled people. We will vote. I've got no choice. If there's a general election in November, I will vote Labour. Because where else can I go? But we will be with a heavy heart that I do so. Because I'm sure I feel like a lot of people are feeling it. I feel a bit betrayed by Labour. I, I'm in DPAC, I so I know stuff that goes on behind the, behind the scenes. Um, I'm, not he I'm not that heavily involved, but my partner is. Um... She was at the round table meeting with John McDonnell, Margaret Greenwood. Margaret Greenwood, who, by the way, was out of that meeting for 40 minutes and John McDonnell was asked, answering questions on her behalf. How weak is that? How weak is that? Debbie Abrams was getting close to coming on board and she was shipped out. And that's why. Do you know what? The only people I feel now we've got on our side is probably... John McDonnell was a good man. I can see he's a good man. Margaret Greenwood should be out of that job. Laura Peacock, great, great woman. Angela Rayner, I've only, what I've seen of her, she seems pretty good. Jeremy Corbyn, we need you to sit down with us. We need you to come clear, because at the moment, we're not sure where you stand, really. We know where John McDonnell stands, I know where Laura Peacock stands. They're about the only two I do know where they stand. It's just, for, just think with this. Not always this, this. People are going to die in that year. The year you take to have another review, people are going to die. In November, the UN are coming back where we will be presenting more evidence of people dying. What else do you need? Just stop and scrap. Have the gumption, have the bravery just to come out and say we are going to stop and scrap it. You will get in. If you say that, trust me, you're voting. You will get in in November as a general election. And there's millions of us that will respect you. But at the moment, you're letting us down. Or you're just not... I don't understand why. I do not understand why you're doing this. People are dying. That is the end of it. People are dying. And people that I'll probably know when I'm out of this circle I'm moving, they're scared. My own story. Universal credit. I can, I've got one example of what it does. It stops you sh social mobility. I was offered by a friend of mine a place in Croydon. To get out of where I am at the moment, because I mean, I'm living in a sheltered accommodation where I shouldn't be. It's not living really. Um, I've got a roof over my head. I know that's a bonus in these days, which is another thing. Imagine saying that I've got a roof over my head, which is a bonus, because the homelessness, universal credit, 
will raise that everywhere it comes. The homelessness goes up, food bank usage, ninety percent rise. Wherever universal credit is rolled out, what does that tell you? Food bank should that exist? No, they shouldn't. My own story. I suffer with depression and anxiety. Worked, I have worked on and off for the past 20, 20, 20 years. It's not like we're all. I'm just sitting here, not trying to. I'm trying to make my way in the world, but I just need a bit of extra help. I got offered a place from a mate of mine, my best friend. He got a place that he rents out and I could have gone. Do you know the reason I didn't go? Because if I went into Croydon area, into Croydon Borough, change the circumstance. What, what would I be on then? Universal credit. I will never, ever go on to universal credit. Never, ever. Because I've seen what it does. It's not there to help. It's there to kill or get you off benefits. And actually, it kill, I think it kills more people than it gets off benefits. 33 people are dying a day. The Canary, there's only paper that really reports it. And they're not paper, they're online. There's only paper that really reports it. The Guardian, what are they doing? That France is right. What she come out with yesterday, it's not all that 10,000 deaths. It's not down to the DWP. She sold her soul for the money, like a lot of them do. Just get on board with us. And actually, I'm going to give you a warning. If you don't get on board with us, then it, what we do with, with the Conservatives, we're, we're, we're dealing with you as well. And trust me, there's a lot of us. And we can change policy, and you know we can. Get on board or off. That's it.